Yo, what's up, fellas? So, um, since right now I'm pretty broke because I can't sell Maradona. He's a legend. I ain't forgetting, bro. He's staying on my team. But I'm trying to see how um I can get some top-notch players without having to go to the market and spend so much time on the market. So instead of spending time on the market, I'm gonna do these icon swaps. So, guys, I'm gonna see which one to start with. We got icon swaps. Okay, so we got Premier League, win six matches in life of friendly, one league with at least five first known Premier League players in, in your starting lineup squad. Okay, go. Okay, so this is right off the bat. This is what we're going to do. Premier League, do I got any uh, Premier League players? We'll take a look right now. I'm not even sure myself. All right, let's go to it. Okay, guys, this is the team I'm going to use. I had to do it really quick. So, okay, so I think all these bottom ones are first owner. All these. I, I think I can use this one. So this is a loan. This one's the first owner. I got lucky with this one. I haven't even put this on game with him. Um, uh, this one's, I think, is first owner. Tradable, though. This one's untradable. But, yeah, I think the only ones that I don't own, buy well, I own, but, like, uh, aren't first owner are these three up top. So, yeah, let's get to it. Go. Only six matches, so I didn't put that much. I didn't put any camps down. Nothing crazy. Well, it could be one hell of a six matches. We'll see. Let's go. Stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays with Angelo of Bonner in central defense. And rather than use a strike partnership, oh. they've gone with we got that cheese. We'll take it, bro. <laughs> First goal. Let's go. Same Maxime. And that much hurry. Well, not covering himself in glory defensively. Can he put it in? Ooh, what a block. What a block, bro. Come on, that might run. Get that sprint on him. Yeah, we're going to take this one. Let's go, bro. Okay. First one. Strong but fair tackle. Victor Lindelof makes us Ooh, what a clean turn. Yeah, take your goalie out. Okay, we got the we got the first goal, fellas. Let's go. Call me. Let's go, bro. We got another one. He did a lot of the abusing mechanics on me, and it worked once. You want to abuse the mechanics, don't you? No, you want to abuse the mechanics. You want to do things to make you win only, huh? You want to play abusive? I'm going to abuse you, bro. Get your goalie out of here. He was abusing the mechanics like crazy, dude. Oh, cheese. Oh, well. Dude, you can't, bro. You can't be stopping oh, them. Game, bro. We'll take it. All right, fellas. Well, that was it. I got it done. There wasn't many highlights because a lot of people that get scored on or whatever, they back out quick because they want to get it through. They don't want to be trying to do comebacks and stuff. So that's what happened. And um, how do you call it? I want to talk to you guys about my experience through all this. And what what are some players that I faced, some opponents, uh, their strategies, what they did. And uh, there was a lot of meta. I'll tell you that, guys. There was a lot of meta. Meta skill moves from the, I don't know, but they're probably from Division 1. There was a ton of meta skill moves I've seen. There was a, and uh, yeah. Are they overpowered? Yes. Uh, did this uh, so this guy did a rainbow over me bro there was no animation and i know that rainbow's good i've done it myself but when they do it to you constantly you start realizing dude like i can block it here and here and there but then sometimes you're like dude that's op bro there's no animation for it same with the lb 
Oh, uh, fake shot. LB, XA, fake shot, whatever. Broken. And same with the RT fake shot. Broken as well. There's no animation. And same with the Elastico. Not the Elastico. What is it called? Um, step over speed boost. Oh my god. Ridiculous, bro. <laughs> but yeah. I, I mean, if you guys want to get better at FIFA, I can give you guys a tutorial on doing that. I don't play like I don't play like that. I could if I wanted to, and I could easily just become a much better player like that. But I don't play like that guy. I don't really care too much about winning anyway. I just play for fun. I, I score, I dribble. That's all I do. I think dribbling, dribbling is what makes FIFA fun for me. If I just play the meta, and if I just play to win, it's just going to kill the flow, and I'm just not going to like it. Or like boring, boring, pass, meta, meta. It just bores me. I got, I got burned out from all the other FIFAs just because of that. It burned me out like crazy. So that's why now I just do what I want. Just what. But yeah, guys. I mean, I guess I can make a video on if you guys want to do. If you guys want to get better and you want to succeed. You know, if you're getting a lot of losses. this is this. is I'm going to do this video just for you guys. If you're getting a ton of losses. Because this meta stuff helps a ton. A ton. It's annoying. But it helps a ton. And if you guys are struggling. If you're brand new to FIFA. Just do them. Because if you're brand new to FIFA. And you want to win and stuff, you might need this. It might help you a little bit more. If you're brand new to FIFA and you want to play football, the football you watch on TV and stuff, then look at my tutorials. You know, when you learn how to dribble, first you learn how to dribble, and then you can start playing how you want, you know. But yeah. Because left stick dribb left stick dribbling is no P. It's not. It's a mind game. It has nothing to do with abusive stuff. You're you're abusive to your to your opponent when you read them a lot, yeah. But that's nothing to do with Nah, bro. That's just mind games. But, yeah, guys. Catch y'all later. If you struggle with this, let me know. If you did, let me know. It, was, it wasn't it was too hard. It was kind of... Some people were annoying, you know? Some people just like to score one goal on you and then to hold the ball. Because they expect you to quit, you know? But, yeah. Anyway, laters.